I want to congratulate our eighth grade scholars. You are coming to an end of a journey, but of course, the beginning of a much larger one. It is filled with challenges, but there's one thing I know about this class. You've got perseverance. You know what struggle looks like, and you know what overcoming struggle looks like. Academic achievements are only part of what you've accomplished. You've grown socially and emotionally, and I am so very proud of you. High school is gonna be full of amazing opportunities, but you, the freshmen, are responsible for taking those opportunities and transforming those into meaningful experiences for yourselves. As you dream up the next four years, I want you to promise me that you're going to dream big. Promise me that you will have the courage and confidence to take yourself seriously. At age 14, Anne Frank began writing her diary. And Charles Schultz, the creator of Snoopy and Charlie Brown, published his first cartoon. Now freshmen, it's your turn. As you enter high school, take yourself seriously. Do your best. Take your life in beautiful and bold directions. Start leaving your mark. Envision greatness in yourself and seize every opportunity that you can to achieve it. Now, remember our motto, today, I will learn. Today, I will succeed. Today, I am important. Congratulations, and I love you, Dr. Oliver. Congratulations, eighth graders. Miss Cannon here. I just wanted to say that you have made us proud. Um, in the face of adversity, you have come forward and shined. And I can't wait to see what you all do in high school and how you positively change this world. Keep it up. Falcon family. Once a Falcon, always a Falcon. Good morning, Booth Thicket Falcons. Today is Thursday, May 21st. 2020. It's a big day for you 8th graders promoting. Just want to say congratulations and also good luck uh, in high school. If you guys ever need anything, let us know. I want to say thank you to all of you that uh, were with us last year on to this year and making the much needed changes that needed to happen here at Booth Fickett to make, make us what we are today. Uh, again, thank you so much for your hard work. Uh, congratulations. And if you ever, ever need anything cheap, please just let us know. Thanks. And I'll see you around like a donut. Just want to say congratulations to the class of 2024. Thank you for all this gray hair and have a safe and healthy summer. Hey guys, it's Mr. Tinky. I just wanted to say have a great summer and good luck in the future. Also, Farming Simulator 2019 is free and available in the PS4 store, so looks like we're all looking forward to June. Have a great summer. Good luck in the future, guys. Hi, fabulous Falcons. It's Miss Namoro. I just wanted to wish all of you a huge congratulations on your graduation from eighth grade. You guys are going to have an amazing adventure in high school. I miss you all dearly and hope you have a wonderful summer with wonderful adventures ahead. Love you all. Hey guys, I just wanted to say congratulations. Um, it truly was an honor teaching you all and I am excited to see and hear uh, about the way you guys are going to be going on into high school and starting to become uh, amazing young adults. So again, congratulations on graduating, and I look forward to seeing what you guys do in the future. Hi guys, I'm Ms. Bala. First of all, heartiest congratulations to all of you. You did an amazing job. I'm so happy to see you all flying in colors. I want to wish you all the very best for all your future endeavors. May you all reach Zenith. Remember guys, sky is not the limit. So reach beyond the heavens. This is just a beginning and you have to go a long run. You are the makers, trust yourselves. Do the best and have the best. Dream, dare, do. Keep rising and shining. Love you all, Ms. Bala. Hey, fabulous Falcons. Um, it's been a great year. I'm so proud of everyone that I've been associated with this year. 
whether it's been in class or through athletics, uh, you have improved so much. You have become real leaders of our school and real role models. I'm really so proud of uh, so many of you. Uh, remember, always set some goals. Go for your goals. So many of you have a lot of talent uh, in athletics as you move forward. Don't be afraid to go for it. Give it your best shot. Um, and no matter what in life, always go for your goals. Give it your best. Uh, always be proud of yourself and be proud of our school. And thanks for being a big part of Booth Thicket. And good luck, Falcons. Hey, 8th graders, it's Mrs. Lynch. I just wanted to hop on real quick and um, congratulate all of you on your 8th grade promotion. You did it. Um, I know this will be the first of many proud and successful moments in your life, um, so I wanted you all to know just how proud I am of each and every one of you for all the work that you've put in for the last two years that I've known you. It's been a pleasure to watch you all grow and develop into the young adults that you're becoming. Um, and I know the future is going to have great things for each one of you if you never stop reaching for your dreams. Um, my advice for high school would be have fun, stay organized, and stay out of trouble. Those of you know who I'm talking to with that one. Um, again, I wish you the best of luck, congratulations, and I'm gonna miss all of you. Congrats, guys. Hey guys, this is Miss Jacobson. I just wanted to say congratulations, you made it. What a year it's been. One for the record books, that's for sure. As you go into high school, remember, you can do it. Be yourself because you guys are awesome just the way you are. I guess when I was going into high school, the advice I would have liked to have heard is join a club, find your place, stick with it, and take things one step at a time. Just enjoy yourselves, have a great time, and I'll miss you, so come back and visit. Love you. Congratulations, all. Bye. Hey, all you cool cats and kittens. I don't normally do these kinds of things, but it is a special time in a very unusual circumstance. Since I won't get the chance to pass on any words of wisdom in person, I have opted to participate. Those of you that have known me for the last several years may already guess at what I want to say. I know that these past few months have been challenging. Uh, high school will also be a challenge. Pursuing college and a career will also be a challenge, but it is what you do to work through and overcome this adversity that defines your character and pushes you through these challenges. It is important to not just work hard, but also to work smart. I hope that all of you come back and tell me all about your stories and what you have accomplished since I didn't get a chance to see some of you often say goodbye. Um, congratulations to the eighth graders of 2020. Hello class of 2024, this is Mr. A and I want to take this moment just to congratulate you on a job well done. Although this is just the beginning, you're now stepping into a new journey. And in that journey, there will be some ups and there will be some downs. But be encouraged to know that all of this will be for the better once you get that diploma in 2024. I want to also let you know that this is my last year here. I will be moving to Houston, Texas. But I have cherished those moments and I will cherish those moments and take those moments away that we've spent together. And I will remember you for the rest of my life. And I want you to take away this advice. Knock it out of the park in your first year of high school. That freshman year is so crucial and so important. Take the opportunity to, to, to do what you need to do in the classroom. And you will be successful throughout the rest of your high school career. And so to you again, congratulations to you, Booth Pickett class of 2024. Hey guys, it's Gallego. I'm gonna keep this short and sweet. Uh, if not, I'll probably start crying. I'm gonna start crying anyway, just ignore me. Uh, I wanna start off by saying that I know that this year didn't end the way we wanted it to. As eighth graders, there are a lot of events and things that are very special to you and you didn't get any of those this year. And I know that's not fair. Um, and I'm really sorry for that. But on the bright side, It'll make your high school graduations that much sweeter. Um, 
This year, I've had the pleasure of watching you guys grow, not just height-wise, but maturity-wise. Um, I'm so proud of this class and what you've accomplished and what you've achieved. And it just, it makes me really sad that we couldn't celebrate that. Um, but regardless of not having the big fancy promotion and everything, you should be so proud of yourselves and you should know that you're ready for high school and everything that it has to offer. Um, and if you're not, if you feel like you're having a hard time, come back to Ficket. I'll be there. Um, I would love to see you. I would love for you to check in and let me know how things are going with you. Um, you guys are a special group and I'm very proud of you and I wish you all the best in high school and I hope to see you all very soon. Congratulations, class of 2024. As of the end of this week, you are high schoolers and your graduating class will be the class of 2024, a very auspicious and exciting number. Um, I wanna let you know how proud I am of you, of all the things you have learned and everything you have accomplished in these last few years. And I wanted to give you a few bits of advice um, to kind of help guide you along this journey to adulthood. And the first is find a mentor. We all need somebody to talk to, um, to help us work through decisions. And so look for that person. Look for somebody you trust, who listens, but doesn't judge. Uh, maybe it's a coach or a teacher. Maybe it's a guidance counselor or the principal. Um, maybe it's an older cousin or a family friend. Uh, find that adult um, who can be there for you when you need it. Second, try something new. High school has so much to offer and maybe there's things you're interested in, but it's been too scary to give it a try. Be scared, but try it. Um, go out for the football team or the basketball team. Try cheerleading or uh, marching band, audition for a play or join choir or the newspaper. Um, start a club, join a club, try new things and keep trying them until you find that one or two things that make you happy, that help lift you up. Um, these are the things that keep you going back to school, that keep you excited and motivated. Um, so go out there and try things until you find it. Um, third, find good friends. Um, high school is big and that can be scary but one of the things that means is that there will absolutely be other people on the campus who get you. Um, so if you're hanging out with friends who make you feel bad about yourself um, or who do things that make you uncomfortable or who bring you down, go find other friends. Find friends who lift you up, um, who make you laugh. Uh, they are out there and they are probably looking for you too. Um, Finally, I can't wait to hear from you, to learn about your adventures and your successes, um, and to meet the people that you will become. And I want you to know that whatever choices you make, wherever you go in life, I believe in you. And it has been my honor to be your math teacher. Hey guys, it's me, Mrs. Chikawa. I wanted to say congratulations to the entire eighth grade class. I'm so excited for you because you're finally taking that step from eighth grade to freshman year. And while I know some of you might be scared, I know others were just so excited and couldn't wait, talked about it all year. And I'm happy for you guys that we're finally at that point. I'm sorry that your last quarter of eighth grade year ended like this, where you lost out on so much and uh, you weren't able to do a lot of those things that probably those eighth graders before you were able to do. But know that uh, even losing that, that you guys will still have great adventures to come. That eighth grade's not the end. That, uh, well, I know four years sounds like a lot. It's possible. And uh, I hope all of you make it to that finish line. 
because you're the class of 2024 and uh, I see great things for you. I want to thank you guys uh, for being such great kids. Uh, a lot of you have uh, shared your life with me over the last three years. You shared how funny you are, how kind you are, how smart you are, how uh, intuitive you are. And uh, I'm so proud that I got to know a group of kids like you. You're my first group of kids, and uh, you'll always have a special place in my heart. And uh, you'll always be who I'm thinking of when I'm planning lessons. So thank you for that. And uh, thank you guys for just being great. Uh, some advice before you go off to high school, you know, um, make sure that you guys are taking care of yourselves. High school can be stressful. It can be a lot. So uh, just check in with yourself uh, physically, mentally, emotionally every once in a while because you never want to get too overwhelmed and realize that there are, an adult, there are adults or older teens or anyone that's willing to help you. To make sure that you're okay and that you can get through what you need to get through. I hope that all of you make it and uh, graduate in 2024 because I believe that this class is full of people that can do great things in the future. Um, I see so many success stories. I hear the excitement and the dreams that you guys have and I know that you guys can make it. Because I've seen you do it before. I've seen you step up. I've watched you grow and meet goals and, you know, be successful. I hope that you guys build confidence. That you go out there. Go get things done. You uh, experience a homecoming or a football game. Anything like that. I uh, want to also let you know that I'll always be there for you guys. So, if you ever need me, drop a line, uh, send an email, <laughs> drop on by if you even want to. I know that as, a, as your teacher, this is the last time, but uh, I can still be there for you as a person. <laughs> and uh, I hope that you guys have a great life, and that you do something amazing with it. Thank you so much, 8th uh, graders, for everything. <laughs> and, uh, I hope you go out there and be successful. Bye.